Hey everyone, it's Tony Vincent, and wait for a few people to join, and I have some really cool Siri tips to share. I thought of this because I just came across this article on The Verge, and because Siri can tie into Apple Music, well, <laughs> they mentioned how you could possibly use it as a sound effect machine. It doesn't have to be rude. So I thought I'd try some of these out from the Verge article. And then there's a lot of other Siri tips, too. Uh, so I can, uh, I can ask uh, Siri. Uh, let's see here. Let's try it. Siri, play the sound of applause. She's taking a minute. So, all right, stop, stop playing, Siri. There you go. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but my favorite, and I, I think I could use this a lot in conversations with adults and kids, is play the sound of sad trombone. Oh, she's going to get it wrong. She didn't hear me right. Let's try that again. Play the sound of a sad trombone. I couldn't find the sound of a sad trombone on Apple Music or in your library. Seriously, you just did like five minutes ago. <laughs> that's that's Siri for you, huh? All right, let's let's see this. Uh, play the sound of space. <laughs> magically transported. Play the sound of a laser. <laughs> there. Yeah, so this is Siri. Um, I don't, Google Now probably does something similar. The, the thing with this is since it ties into Apple Music, there are actually sound effects in Apple Music's library. So um, then there are some, some other uh, interesting things. I use Siri to set an alarm all the time. Yeah, the thing is, Siri is not always trustworthy. She gets things wrong all the time. <laughs> but, uh, uh, hey Siri. Wake what me, can I help you with? Oh, wake me up at 6 a.m. I'm not sure I understand. Yep, there she, how could she, oh, she didn't hear the first part. One, one of the things, because she cuts me off all the time, is if you hold down the home button or the, the microphone button, then she won't cut you off. Wake me up at 6 a.m. And when I let go. For 6 a.m. All right, 6 a.m. Awesome. You can always. <laughs> she thinks she's funny. Yeah, and reminders, too. I saw someone write that. Um, remind me at a certain time or a certain location. And she uh, said that. I haven't used Alexa, so I, I, I don't know. I, from, what I, from what I hear, Alexa works better. Yeah, you can change Siri's voice um, going into the settings, and it can be man or woman, or you can change uh, the, the country accent, too. <laughs> Asking if I don't have Wi-Fi. Yes, I'm in a hotel, which means that my uh, Verizon signal is a lot faster. Let's see. Uh, so other things. Search for Power Rangers. Search for Power Rangers. All right, here's what I got. And it mentions Power Rangers. <laughs> uh, something I didn't know it could do is roll dice. Roll a dice. Rolling. Okay, six. And it gave me six. You can even roll two dice if you want. Roll two dice. It's four and three this time. Aha. Uh -huh. How about roll three dice? It's four and six this time. The last time I counted, that's not three dice. <laughs> uh, she won't do four or five. I, I tested that. Say you need to flip a coin. You can uh, ask it to do that. So flip a coin. Rosencrantz says heads. 
I don't know what Rosencrantz is, but uh, hi to France. <laughs> uh, Siri, uh, do you have a boyfriend? I'm omni-relational. Omni-relational. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, and you can even do this. Pick a number between 1 and 100. Checking my sources. Okay, check it out. And it do, it, she didn't speak it, but the number is 79. And you can do, I did between 1 and 1 million, and she picked a random one. Um, I know a lot of you are teachers, so if you're a teacher, you could have your students numbered, um, 1 to 20, how many ever you have, and it can pick one like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I use her for notes all the time, too. If you ask her to note something, she'll record it in your notes app. So since I end up staying in a lot of hotels, I'll, I'll note what room I'm in. So, Note, I'm in room 252. Got it. And now if I go to my notes app, there'll be a new note entry that says I'm in room 252. I do that for parking sometimes, too, if I'm not taking a picture. <laughs> uh, there, there's some other uh, cool things like... What planes are overhead? Hmm, let me think. Okay, I found this. And then it has a this, and then there's a map. And you can see the plane swirling around. Okay. What is your future plan? I prefer not to say. Oh, they're under wraps. And if you ask her something, sometimes she'll have a different response each time. What are your future plans? Perhaps there's something I can do for you? <laughs> you use Siri to, to type uh, text while you're driving, definitely. She can send text, but she can also tweet. Oh, yeah, we'll do zero divided by zero in just a second. So let's see here. Um, tweet. Did you know that Siri can send a tweet for you? Question mark. She sent this one. Exclamation mark. Here's her tweet. Ready to send it? Uh, and yes. I don't understand. <laughs> yes. Here's her tweet. Ready to send it? Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you have another computer by you, go ahead, and I'm at Tony Vincent, and her tweet should be there if everything went according to plan. <laughs> so she has to be tied into your Twitter account, and uh, I'm not seeing my own tweet yet on Twitter, but maybe she'll show, it'll show up soon. <laughs> yeah, she's just using voice dictation, but she also, well, if iOS knows your Twitter account, that's how that works. All right, let, let's ask her this. What's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't ask that again, huh? <laughs> uh, then you can ask her a lot of funny things, too. Um... Let's see. <laughs> well, uh, we, can, we can ask her to tell a joke. Tell me a joke. Tony, get serious. <laughs> How about, um, tell me a dirty joke. Sorry, Tony. I don't know any dirty jokes in your language. And if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to tell them to you. <laughs> All right. Sing me a song. You know I can't sing, Tony. Well, she can't sing. <laughs> uh, do you want to go on a date? Oh, that's sweet, Tony, but I already have plans. <laughs> she has awkward pauses. Plans. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> what does the fox say? Frack a cackle, cook a cackle cow. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, how about this? Oh, she can show you pictures. I like doing a, a Google search. And you've, if you haven't seen this uh, new thing people are doing on the Internet, it's pretty cool. So, 
Do a Google search for Trump your cat. Searching Google for Trump your cat. So I'm going to switch over to images, and here's what people are doing. They, what you do <laughs> is that you, I think I was dumped by Siri, you brush your cat, and then you take your cat's hair that you just brushed and put it on its head to look like Donald Trump. <laughs> and there are plenty of pictures that Siri shows me of that. <laughs> I did just ask her what zero divided by zero was, and it was funny. <laughs> let's see. Let, let's ask her some more things. You are smart. Actually, give her a compliment. Ah, uh, <laughs> there she goes. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is, well, I don't know how to say it in your language. It's sort of greenish, but with more dimensions. Tell me about Steve Jobs. Thanks for asking about Steve. Here's Apple's web page about him. Yeah, I don't see my tweet either, so something is... Not quite right. I don't know if I don't have my my uh, Twitter account hooked up, or it just <laughs> doesn't work quite quite right. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll we'll ask zero divided by zero again because that's funny. What's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so we, we could ask her silly things. Anybody else have, have useful stuff that, that she does? <laughs> yeah, this is from, from the very beginning. Uh, where can I hide a body? I used to know the answer to this. She used to. Yeah, then they deleted it. <laughs> What's your religion? Perhaps there's something I can do for you. Oh, that, I, zero times zero. I haven't thought about that. What's zero times zero? The answer is zero. Oh, that's not, that's not as complicated as divided, is it? <laughs> Yeah, so she can text people for you. That's probably what I use her the most for if I can rely on her. What is the meaning of life? Life, the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death. <laughs> All right. Who's your best friend? I guess I don't have one. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> All right, well, that's a little bit of uh, what Siri can do for you. Uh, in case you're wondering, I was using a microphone with her. I tested it out, and, it, and she sounded a lot better uh, that way. So, um, of course, there's lots more you can ask her. There, If you do a Google search for funny things to ask Siri, it goes on and on and on. But you guys had, had great suggestions. So uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.